Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. This news in the streets. Join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. If you want the latest news in the streets, join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely tea TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely tea TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. The word pornography brings to mind graphic images and videos of sex and nudity. Pornography isn't a modern idea. In fact, porn as we know it is meant to arouse sexual desires in us and has existed throughout human history. Matter of fact, explicit murals were found along the ruins of Pompeii, while the ancient Greeks adorned their pottery with sexual images. In 19th century France, men would create obscene works of art and only uncover them when the women were out of the room. With the invention of photography and video recording, pornography entered a new phase. Pornographic images, magazines, and video could be found at gas stations and video stores throughout the 20th century. In recent years, Kanye has been very open to anyone who would listen to him about his porn addiction. Even telling Zane Lowe in 2019, Playboy was a gateway into full-on pornography addiction. My dad had a Playboy left out at the age of five, and it's affected almost every single choice I've made for the rest of my life from age five until now. Different layers to trafficking. Like for me, Playboy was my gateway into full-on pornography addiction. My dad had a Playboy left out at age five. And it's affected almost every choice mm. I made for the rest of my life mm. from age five to now having to kick the habit. And it just presents itself in the open, like it's okay. And I stand up and say, you know, it's not okay. He also said the same thing on Drink Champs when he was talking to Nori. <clears throat> well, I was showing both of my addictions. You know, I found my dad's Playboy when I was five years old and I started drinking beer or something in, in high school. So I actually was carrying both of my addictions, one in one arm, one in the other. And even long before this, if you guys watched his genius documentary that I talked about a few months ago, Kanye even briefly spoke about his addiction while being filmed for an appearance of MTV You Hear It First. Kanye stops at a magazine stand in Times Square where he asks for a copy of a now defunct magazine called Black Tail. I got a little addiction, man. Stay right there. So welcome to Lovely Tea TV. I hope you guys are doing good today. I hope you also have your teacups ready because I'm definitely ready to spill this tea. So I'm sure you guys are all familiar with the Kardashian family and their continuous drama. Well, now Kanye West has decided to take it up another notch. If you guys do not know, last night Kanye West revealed that once again, he's dealing with pornography addiction and he claimed it destroyed his family in a series of bizarre, now deleted Instagram posts. Now this went down on Thursday night. He also made several references to his children's school and the fact that he's upset that they're not going to a school of his choice. West also denied that his mental health was spiraling. And he basically said that he's expressing undeniable truths as he went off on not only Kim Kardashian, but also the Kardashian family and Kris Jenner. He also told his haters slash critics to shut the fuck up and worry about their own kids because today he's in control. In one of the posts, Kanye screenshots text messages apparently from Kim pleading with him to stop but he kept going in his first post he warned his followers to get their mother effing popcorn I'm dealing with wars at the highest level of control and discrimination based on the level I am operating at then he goes on to say a conductor got to turn they back to the audience to direct the orchestra oh yay is crazy is basic as fuck at this point I'm simply right. I know girls who sell coochie and I don't agree with how my daughters are displayed. I was driven crazy before and I'm not going crazy no more. It's not up to Calabasas or Hulu where my kids go to school. I'm not the crazy one here. Then he goes on to say, 
I won't stop until I have my say so on my kids, no matter what it legally takes. Child, then Kanye began to dress in Hillary Clinton, honey, and Mark Zuckerberg. He's calling out the elites. So he goes on to say, my kids are going to Donda. They're not going to Sierra Canyon. Charlemagne the God and Chris, get your mother effing popcorn. In the second post, he has a screenshot from Kim asking him, can you please stop? Kanye responded to the post with a popcorn emoji, and he says, no, we need to talk in person. You don't have a say-so of where these kids go to school. Why you get to say? Because you half white? In another post, he says, imagine not having any say-so on where your kids go to school. I'm the kid's father. Then he came back on Instagram, and he basically posted another screen grab. This time, it was from an Instagram ad featuring Victoria Villa Rolel. Kylie Jenner's former assistant, and Kanye wrote this, don't let Chris make you do Playboy like she made Kylie and Kim do. Then he continued, Hollywood is a giant brothel. Pornography destroyed my family. I deal with the addiction. Instagram promotes it. Not going to let it happen in Northey and Chicago. Now, if you guys remember, last year, Kim Kardashian appeared to indicate that she regretted her 2007 nude Playboy magazine shoot, telling her younger self, I would say, don't be so trusting. Hmm. Uh, Kim's Playboy shoot. <laughs> We're over it. <laughs> Regret. What would you tell your younger self? I would say, don't be so trusting. And, but still have that, you know, your open heart and trusting another people. trust the universe. Yeah. Right. Kylie also posed for the magazine in 2019. Kanye then shared another screen grab from Kim, relaying a message from her mom, Kris Jenner. And in this screen grab, Chris is saying, please tell him to stop mentioning my name. I'm almost 67 years old. I don't always feel great. This stresses me to no end. Then Kanye goes on to say, y'all don't have a say-so over my black children and where they go to school. He then went on to state they will not do Playboy or sex tapes. And then he says, tell your Clinton friends to come and get me. Later on, Kanye came back once again. And he says, ask Pete Davidson how those tattoos of my kids doing in that trauma unit. So after he addressed Pete Davidson, Kanye then decided to address the fellow men in the Kardashian clan who have kids with the Kardashian Jenner sisters. And this is what Kanye said. He goes, Tristan, Trav, and Scott, calling my fellow cum donors. We are in this together. Then he goes on to post a screenshot and it says, become a sperm donor today, earn up to $1,500. So basically saying that they're all in this with him and they're all going through the same thing behind the scenes and they need to rally together to protect their children. The posts were visible for about one hour before they were deleted from his feed. At this point, I don't know if Kanye West deleted them or if Instagram deleted them because he was also calling out Instagram. So, you know, for everybody, it appears that Kanye has once again gone off the deep end, but I thank him revealing his porn addiction over and over again plays a big part in why he got with Kim Kardashian and married her. I mean, just think about it. Her mom plotted that entire porn tape situation with Ray J and it made her super famous. Kanye West has been admitting for the past 20 years that he's been addicted to porn since age five. So I'm thinking he probably watched that tape over and over again. And I think that's the big reason that he fell for Kim Kardashian. Remember, repetition is the father of learning. On top of that, remember people like Jay-Z and Beyonce were not feeling Kim and they felt like Kim was beneath him at the time. Granted, she's a big old star now, but she wasn't at the time. And people did not understand his obsession with Kim. And even before Kim Kardashian, remember, he left Alexis for Amber Rose, you know, who was out there kind of wild and free. She was a stripper. So I think a lot of the women that he's dated after Alexis were definitely due to his addiction to sex and women's bodies and, and looking at them as objects. But now that he has these two daughters, it's really worrying him because he doesn't want men to treat his daughters in the same way that he looked at and treated women. So I believe because of his addiction, that was the main reason for him marrying Kim. So let's fast forward to four kids later in a divorce. At the end of the day, Kanye is going to have to find some type of coping mechanism. He can't continuously keep harassing his family at will. He can't keep going off on them, showing private messages. He also needs to understand that he may not want to call out the elites because they might just give him exactly what he's asking for. 
I'm just saying. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to like and share the video. Most important, please make sure that you're still subscribed to my channel because y'all know YouTube loves to unsubscribe people, honey. Make sure you guys leave a comment down below. I want to hear y'all thoughts on the situation. Talk to y'all later. Have a good day. Deuces. If you want the latest news in the streets, join us sentiment for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely T T V show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely T T V show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe.